Senator Sanders, you, you do often point to your vote against the war in Iraq as evidence of your judgment on foreign policy, but you did vote for the war in Afghanistan. And as recently as 2015, you said you supported a continued U.S. troop presence there. No. Was that support a mistake? Well, only one person, my good friend Barbara Lee, was right on that issue. She was the only person in the House to vote against the war in Afghanistan. She was right. I was wrong. So was everybody else in the House. But to answer your question, I don't think you do what Trump does and make foreign policy decisions based on a tweet at 3 a.m. in the morning or desert your longtime allies like the Kurds. I think you work with the international community. You remove all troops over a period of time, a short period of time, within one year. Thank you, Senator. Mayor Buttigieg, you served in this war, but I want to ask about your decision making if you were elected commander in chief. You have pledged to withdraw all U.S. troops from Afghanistan hmm. within your first year as president. But the Taliban today control or contest more than half the country. Mm -hmm. So should you, as president, still withdraw all those U.S. troops if the country could once again become a haven for terrorists? We're going to leave one way or the other. The question is to make sure we do it well and not poorly. And of course, that has to respond to the conditions on the ground and the need for a political settlement. But, you know, the other day I was reunited with somebody that I'd served with over there. And the thing we were marveling at is how long it's been since we left. I thought I was one of the last troops turning out the lights when I left years ago. And we're still there. There may need to be some kind of limited special operations and intelligence capacity. The exact same kind of thing, by the way, that we actually had in Syria holding the line before the president yanked it out, leading to the road to chaos. But what we know is that we cannot go on with these endless wars. And I'm glad that the name of Barbara Lee was mentioned, uh, not only because of what she's talked about years ago. I believe that we had no choice but to go to Afghanistan after 9-11. But right now, she is one of the leaders of the effort to repeal and replace the authorization for the use of military force, and the folks that I served with deserve that. They deserve the clarity of members of Congress being able to summon the courage to take an up or down vote on whether they ought to be there in the first place. And when I am president, any time, if I am forced to deploy troops into war, any time we seek an authorization, it will have a three-year sunset. So that if there really does have to be a conversation about extending it, it has to be brought to Congress, brought to the American people, and those members of Congress have to take that tough up or down vote. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Tim? 